chapter eight, we take a look at what I call deep reading and deep thinking. And the original inspiration for this chapter was reading a book by Sven Burkitz, um, who had this book, Gutenberg Elegies. And in this book, he takes a look at the whole question of uh, changing uh, formats for reading and understanding. And he's seeing that things have changed dramatically, obviously, since the invention of the printing press. Back before the printing press, there were very few books and very few people own books, uh, usually only the powerful. And because they didn't have very many books, they tended to read them over and over again very deeply. And then he sees with the advent of the printing press, widespread ownership of books and a change so that people had a broader understanding of the world instead of just reading deeply they also read horizontally his concern is that with the new media uh, there is some danger that uh, the young people will uh, learn only to read on the surface will not have the patience or the skill to dig down deep and consider the deeper kinds of truths so this chapter takes a look at what's required for students or any people really to look beyond the surface to consider deeper questions of significance as they do their reading and to actually explore more important kinds of questions.